Howdy, folks. I'm here with Andy AML. My favorite battle toad is Zitz. Ty Tuesday. My favorite battle toad is the uh, slightly brown pimple, pimple. one. Oh, Rash. Yeah. Rash, know. yeah, sure. Um, <laughs> and a uh, new guy, uh, Shane. Hello. Hello. Hi. My, um, I don't even know who my favorite battle toad is. Uh, that's okay. <laughs> um, I'm doing this because, uh, what is it, Beta? So yeah, he mentioned that like uh, as a joke, Turbo Tunnel was his favorite shoot 'em up. So you know, close enough, right? Mm, yeah. There's bullets. It's hellish. Right. I think that meets all the criteria. Yeah. So now, mm -hmm. I I don't know a lot about Battle Toads as we've talked about, but if I understand the co-op mode of this game, is it harder or just because we were all youths and we're assholes to each other? It's um, harder because it shares the lives. Oh, that's... Because what? Well, well, what it is is uh, whenever one person dies, you both game over, basically. Lose all their lives. Oh, that's right, yeah. Yeah, I remember yeah. That. so if you got a player two, then he really sucks and just ruins your whole thing. And I think you had three continues, if I remember correctly. Uh, that sounds about right, yeah. I haven't yeah. played this in a long time, so... <laughs> and, you know, the fact that you can punch each other doesn't right. help at yeah. all. Yeah, friendly fire is not good for these like isometric beat 'em up type of games. That's all you get. That's all you get. Um, that said, there is a lot of variety in Battle Toads, and uh, all we have to do is uh, get through Turbo Tunnel, and we're done. That's it. Yeah, that's the end of the game. That's the end of the game. No, that's the end of all I, all I care about in Battle Toads, frankly. Um, uh they had that one level later that had the same speeder bike sequence, which was, like, way harder. Volcanaris Inferno? The, I think so, yeah. The jet level, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because that was, uh, afterwards, um, I, I said as a joke on Twitter to be just like, ah, oh, Turbo Tunnel's easy, you know? And he's like, how about Volkmeyer's Inferno? And then I'm like, what the fuck is that? And then I looked it up, and it was <laughs> jet, a bit more or less. <laughs> so. Yeah, I, I beat Battletoads once many eons ago mm -hmm. so I, I vaguely remember some things of it i i did it with save states like years and years back yeah. you know i did not do the real deal like nes beat it actually i beat it on the genesis there was a genesis That's, board. yeah i played it on genesis as well mm -hmm. i and i had oh go on no 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 i was just saying i had it on nes but go ahead sorry yeah yeah, uh, I had heard rumors that the genesis one was somewhat easier i have no idea in what way though me neither. It was honestly yeah. so many years ago, and yeah, was so long. All right, well that's stage one down, so that's pretty good, right? Yeah. And I got next. Extra, extra what, what stage is the turbo tunnel? That is stage three. Is turbo so you're tunnel. a third. You're a third of the way there. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, it just goes down the hole, and then he plays the little like rat tunnel things. Um. Oh right. Yeah, you're not immediately yeah. at the turbo tunnel. That's yeah. Right. Yeah, you have to go fight the rats on the platforms, then you get to the turbo tunnel. Right. Or speeder bikes, wherever they are. Yeah, what was... There's a level that I remember, and it's like Klinger, uh, Klinger Winger, I yeah. think is it. Yeah, Klinger Danger. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I have seen people play it. I've never done it myself, but everyone says it's like impossible, but just like looking at it, it doesn't really make sense why you're just kind of going at 90 degree angles. I don't understand what the mechanic is there. So... If I, I, cause I did play this. So Klinger Winger, um, the notion is, yeah, it's like a 90 degree race. You're being chased by something and it's, um, who's typing? Not me. Oh, okay. Uh, my... All right. Oh, sorry about that. No, no problem. <laughs> Just make sure it's right, not right next to your microphone when you do. Anyway, sorry. Um, yeah. uh, what do you call it? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, Klinger Winger, uh, is it, is a chase level where you have, yeah, it's at like 90 degree angles. So the thing is you lost speed. You know, because in the time it takes you to actually press left when you need to go left, you know what I mean? Like, otherwise you're just stopped dead if it goes left and you don't press the button. And the idea was, oh. like, so the idea was, like, you had such tight timing with it. Like, you had to be, like, pretty much frame perfect in order to, like, not lose any time whatsoever. So you always lost a little, so blah, 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 you know. And the thing... The timing's just really tight. You don't get a lot of leeway, I you, presume. Pretty much, yeah. And it's like one of those things, too, where you're not sure, like, if, when it's too late, you know? Mm -hmm. I forget if you can get, like, a one-up a la Mario by knocking the crows on the side of the wall a bunch of times. I feel like you, you can't, but... can get it, yeah. You I think you can. You can get a huge score boost, and then you can get a one-up from it. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Just gotta keep bouncing it. 
I, yeah, you just bounce it back and forth. It's one of those things that felt really important to do, but I couldn't tell if I was just because, you know, I used to do this as a kid, and it was like, oh, I gotta get, like, points or whatever, but... I don't know. Oh, Battletoads is an easy game, right? A what game? Battletoads. It's not an easy game. No, it is not. So you you want as many lives as you can. It's it's renowned for being a really hard game, but I think that has to do with just some of the level, Like, some of the levels, I think, just aren't really fair. Like Yeah, that's... It, it's a lot of memorization is what it comes down to. Yeah. Like, the snake level is, like, crazy all memorization. Yeah. Like, there is no way in the world, I don't I don't think that, like, you could ever really do the snake level legit your first time, you know? And nobody realistically wants to spend that kind of time learning something <laughs> that's basically just, like, I want to be the guy. Yeah. Or but, games like that. Right. But then, you know, Battletoads gets a reputation for being really hard, so then people want to do it, more or less, you know? Yeah. So... And I'm I'm just doing it just because I I very flippantly said as a joke Tur Turbo Tunnel was easy, uh, but honestly I do I do not recall if it is or not. So we're we're, well, we're gonna find out. We are I hope. Um, if you got a decent reaction time, it's not too bad I guess. I think that it does require mem it doesn't require but like I think there is memorization yeah. involved too. Like I do remember the end of Turbo Tunnel being the up down up down thing you know. Yeah, it's like the second half of it is when you realize that um the the little like warning that it gives you that one thing's gonna come up starts like stacking on top of each other yep yeah. mm -hmm. oh dear sorry this uh this yeah one guy just said that turbo tunnels is easier than all the stages after it and i i have to say i agree <clears throat> it's easier than oh all the stages after it so yeah it just gets worse and worse as it goes yeah, on. Yeah, it's real. It really does go that way. It starts becoming just a memorization fest. Right. What's the one where you have to like hurry down to the bottom before some dude sets off a bomb, like Rat Race or oh, something? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember oh, that one. Shit. That's one I hear about being bullshit as well. That's yeah, I remember that. I don't remember mm -hmm. the name of it, but that that was totally crap. Mm -hmm. I think Rat Race is correct. Yeah. yeah, that's the one that I always hear referenced is like people are like, yeah, the other parts are hard, they're twitchy or whatever, but that level's just our shit. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> I think sick. everybody just refers to every single level as that one fucking level. <laughs> yeah, it's, oh, that's it's, shit. That Battle fucking Battletoads level. The compilation of that one fucking level. Oh, shit. There's <laughs> um, well, your first life. Yeah. And I gotta be careful, cause like they, there's like kind of a bullshit thing where yeah, right there, you <laughs> kick yourself off the edge. Yeah, I forgot about that. Or I, I remembered it, but I was like too close anyway. Too late. Yeah. Yeah, Battletoads was kind of a piece of shit game, honestly. No, um, <laughs> all right. If, I think if they had just made it just like a straight brawler. Yeah. It would have been okay. They had good but... idea. They had good ideas with it too. Like it was a little, you know, creative and stuff, but like. The problem is that every stage they take a gimmick and just go nuts with it. Yeah. And it, that can be good if the gimmick is actually, you know, fun to do as opposed to this one where it's just memorize where you have to go or you die. Mm hmm So. Well, uh, before we had started, I'd mentioned that I just the found out that it was an arcade machine. Yeah, the arcade yeah. one is actually surprisingly easier than this. Really? Yeah, it's not too bad, actually. Yeah, it's usually the opposite. Usually they make the arcade version the ultra bullshit one, which is a lot of times, like, if you get a game that's an arcade port, it is ludicrously difficult. Yeah. Because they're trying to, you know, make you dump quarters in the machine after, quarters. like, the first two levels. Like, first two are easy, and then it's just like, hey, 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 hey I'll yeah, take those. <laughs> they sucker you in. They, uh, they sucker you in with, like, easy levels, and then they'll give you something, like, really hard, so you put in more quarters. Mm-hmm. I actually yeah. read something a while back about uh, apparently the first instance of DLC or microtransactions in a game was some arcade game where... Double Dragon could... 3. Yeah, that was it. That was it. And you would just pay money to get, like, extra mm -hmm. extra stuff. It, it just flat out said in the game, ah, you want something, pay attention. money. <laughs> Fuck. There was some old, like, light gun shooter arcade game in... Lord knows I'm not going to remember the name of it, but... The last boss, uh, I just remember this because I was like, wow, just gonna put that out there, huh? The last boss's name was Token Talker. Oh, yeah! <laughs> uh, oh, Professor Ludwig von Token Talker of Carnival. That's yeah, right, I mean, yeah. They just, they just put it out there. They're just like, yeah, fuck you. Give, give us your money, idiot. <laughs> you got this far. You're not gonna quit now. 
<laughs> One really annoying thing uh, is, if you remember Dragon's Lair, the old arcade game? Yeah. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, if you got far enough in it at some point, some points, and I think it depended on the dip switch settings, though, it would just be like, hey, give me 50 more cents. For no reason, yeah. In fact, and if you don't believe me, um, no, Hates Hall Man, Cherry Doom, uh, beat us were with me because when I got there at uh, uh, RTX in Austin, it was such a pain in the ass thing because it's like, wait, wait, I'm sorry, hold on one sec. Yep. I kind of forget this part. Oh, okay. All right, got the checkpoint anyway. <laughs> yeah, no, I. Th oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> you still the checkpoint though. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> This is the part I always hated as a kid. Cause it... Yeah, this is when it starts oh, like missed... stacking the you missed the warp or whatever. I forgot all about the warp. I'm not Does even that really... beating it if you get the warp? Sure. Oh, I, I could have <laughs> had the warp. So, what is the trick to this exactly? Because I forget. You not memorize that. how many... Well, wow, that was a... Yeah. I think you memorize exactly how many pillars there were. <laughs> and then... <laughs> Ram into the last one. Yeah, gotcha. there's a teleport straight to turbo tunnels, right? Oh, never mind. This game wants no, to go. No, you have to start back at the beginning of the level. <laughs> yeah. Well, I meant like if you had to restart the whole game, I couldn't remember if it pulled that nonsense. Uh, uh, I think it does. If you get to restart the whole thing. Mm-hmm. Well, so I meant the going... whole game. So. <laughs> going back to Dragon's Lair, like, Sorry, how yeah. did it ask you? Just for more. Did... There's just a screen that, that comes up that says in, insert fifty cents to, or insert coin to continue or whatever. It didn't even try to justify it, like with uh, no. Oh, Dirk ran into an unavoidable trap. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's total bullshit. That's pretty cool. You this need to cool. continue to buy this witch's brew. Witch's brew happens to be fifty Earth cents. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Don Bluth. <laughs> There was a lot of weird shit, though, with, like, Dragon's Lair, where, like, I don't know, people have said in the arcade version there's, like, a, a scene at the drawbridge that I've, like, never seen, oh, happen, and I've played that game a lot, but I don't know. All the strategy oh, guides, and I've read them, you know. It's been ported to literally every single system at this point, so it shouldn't be too hard to find out. Sometimes not right though, or not Dragon like Slayer. The, the Super Nintendo one was the oh. one I was thinking of. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, mean, those, it, those it, I didn't. I didn't say they were good ports. <laughs> well, no, no, it's not even like slightly a port of Dragon Slayer. No, it's, it's like a really shitty side-scrolling platform. Well, not scrolling, but it's like a platformer, basically, <laughs> like a really garbage Castlevania. Imagine if Castlevania controlled like shit, is and it, was called Dragon Slayer. Is it the NES? The NES one was awful. Yeah, oh, that yeah. One. That bad. was really bad. Yeah, it was like... That, you... that had a drawbridge, and you would die by touching yeah, the Yeah, it the drawbridge, and you had to fight <laughs> that stupid dragon. It took, like, five minutes to kill. It turns out Dirk is actually allergic to solid oak. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have known? Whoa. Yeah, I don't quite get the last part of Turbo Tunnel, though. Like... I don't... Like, I'm trying to think of what exactly I did wrong there. I guess we'll find out. Well, I think you at were, that point, you it just hit you the had work, to didn't you? Like, I don't it. understand what happened. I think I was just, like, adjusted the wrong way, maybe, for the warp or whatever, you know? I think yeah, you I were know. going up at the time, and I think you have to be, like, right on... It's, yeah, you have it's to be on the basically bottom. headed directly for the wall and about to collide with it. I say. I think. Well, I mean, I don't know. Someone in chat said warp is kind of bullshit, so we'll see what happens, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, once you're done this level, you're done anyway, so right. you can All either right. finish this one or you can go for the warp. And then the game's over. You win. <laughs> More or less. I'm not playing all fucking Battletoads. <laughs> Fuck that, I, I say. Be... <laughs> God, this this took me so long when I was younger, too. Because you, you, Again, you do have to pretty much like memorize like where all the stupid ramps are and everything. Yeah. I hate you, Trade West. <laughs> Although you did, I thought Trade West was just the publisher. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I think Rare Rare made it, didn't they? Fuck. Yep. Yeah. Actually, they this did. was before they started making good games. Right. I mean, there's a lot of like neat ideas here. I guess just I don't know. I feel like the collision detection's kind of you know and things like that. Yeah. Like I said, this it leans too heavily on the gimmick and it's not really fun. Yeah. Pretty much. I don't know. Beatus loves it for some reason, because, you know, it's his thing now, or whatever. 
Whatever I say. That's his. That's his persona. Yeah. Battle Toads. That's well, his... the good news is people are still making uh, Battle Toads LPs. I just looked one. I was just Battle Toads LP in the last week. Yep, we got one. I, I fucking fell out of the rhythm. Oh. I get it. Yeah, you have to stay in the middle, and it's like a rhythm. Oh, all right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Apparently, the owner of Trade West, Jesus. Byron Cook, is now a state congressman in Texas. Whoa. That's a That's fun fact from chat <laughs> chat member Star Magician Twelve. Thank you. And now the ah. chat's gonna start making up bullshit facts about the developers <laughs> of Battletoads. <laughs> you know the guy who developed Rash was actually made of gold. <laughs> Battletoads was the first video game involved in a murder suicide. Jeez. <laughs> Did you know Battletoad spelled backwards is Doki Doki Panic? <laughs> <laughs> I did know that. Mm -hmm. I did know that. Did you know that if you beat Battletoads in one life without continuing, you unlock the true final boss? Do so you get to see the Dark Queen naked? Because, oh. <laughs> that's, that's, if you, uh, that's if you max up the score. Max I thought you read the strategy guide. <laughs> Sure. No, he only got the Prima guide, not the you, official. You battle toads posers. He got the Prima guide, so it, like all the hints, instead of being like, oh, you need to go up, down, up, up, down, it's just like, hmm, you should probably avoid getting hit. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get 20 battle points. And like every information in it's wrong. It's terrible. <laughs> God, Prima guides, man. Those are the best. Why not call the Prima hit line? <laughs> Do it's they only seven ninety nine a minute. Oh god, those things. Actually, do you remember? Does anybody was anyone old enough? Or I probably not. Do you remember when the Nintendo hint line used to be free? It was an eight hundred number you called. And then they I, made it a not. They made it a nine hundred eventually. From the commercials, but that's about it. I think I remember very briefly, considering calling in. But at the time, I was really young, so mm. my parents didn't want me using the phone to call some random number in the United States to get hints for video games. <laughs> <laughs> Why oh, not uh, though? It's cool. I'm gonna call Mario. I'm gonna call Mario real quick. He's gonna help me beat his Goomba. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you need help with the games, little boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they didn't hire Charles Martinet yet, so. <laughs> right. <laughs> he was a very mean sounding man. It was still Captain Lou Yeah, Albano. they were trying to go realistic. He actually was just. A yeah, he was actually yeah. just a random plumber they found. <laughs> <laughs> You're the voice of Mario. Why? Well, he's a plumber. You're good. You need your toilet cleaned. <laughs> Goombas, what are Goombas? I can get your pipes, but what are the Goombas? <laughs> what are you on, kid? My cousin. Join the Nintendo Fun Club today, by the way. Um... <laughs> that was the one line they could pay him to do. Right. <laughs> <laughs> What's the Nintendo Fun Club? I never heard of this shit. <laughs> as long as you're paying, Mac. Yeah, it turns out you actually didn't call the Nintendo Fun Club. You just looked in the yellow pages for the first plumber named Mario you could find. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. You just call immediately. He picks up. Hello, plumbing service. Is Yoshi's real? <laughs> <laughs> I know I told this story before, so I won't belabor it, but I did get corrected on my pronunciation of Ninja Gaiden <laughs> back when I was like eight or whatever. <laughs> Uh, well, I think I remember And that. it wasn't the wizard movie? No, it was a Nintendo Power Counselor. Oh, <laughs> oh right, 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 right. <laughs> Motherfucker's like, well, Ninja Guy Don. And it's like, no, you're wrong! Years later, I found out. But, you know. Take that, motherfucker! You know what? Maybe you can find his... You can, you can pull out his current information. The internet is a powerful tool. I... <laughs> he just gets a call, like, 20 years later. He's just sitting at dinner with his wife. Kids. Hey, he you just gets a phone call. <laughs> Nintendo <laughs> Power Counselor. <laughs> was guy. <laughs> Nintendo Power Counselor, <laughs> huh? <laughs> you ever hear a Let's Play? Look what you almost did! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> you know who invented it? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, shit! It, like I, I can't get the idea of you like just laying on a couch, like Fuck! he's just talking to you. <laughs> so. Tell me about this Battletoads again. <laughs> Jesus, I really can't do this. This is nuts. Uh-oh. Fuck so you. As long as if you get a game over, you're starting all over again? Uh... That's, that's why they call it <laughs> Bullet Hell. <laughs> there you go. Man murdered over 20-year-old no, pronunciation dispute. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Still got another continue. Shit. I think you're running out, Slow Beef. Uh, yeah, probably. How the fuck do you do this, though? Oh, did you go with Rash? Well, here's your problem. Rash has <laughs> a slow <laughs> one. Everyone knows that. <laughs> Gotta get oh. that frame advantage. It's a little, you know, smaller vertically. You get them pixels. Squeeze right through. No problem. <laughs> Do you want to know the, the secret to Turbo Tunnel? Sure. Be a child, have infinite patience. Mm. <laughs> yeah. And play the game nonstop. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, there you go. If a Reno can beat this game, you can beat this, Rears That's says. That's how I feel. Who says that? <laughs> Rears. Oh, Rears, yeah. That's true, I guess. <laughs> if a if a forty, actually, how old is he now? Fifty? I think it's fifty, isn't it? Uh, Arena? I think. Yeah, the guy from Gate Center. I'm not sure. I really only started watching Game Center kind of recently. I think mm -hmm. he is in his fifties now. Yeah, he's. I know. They released a bunch of new episodes in English recently. They did a translation. I need to watch those. Ah. One of them is Mega Man X. I was mostly super excited to watch those because I had seen him in the uh, his other material first. So mm. and I found out it was him and I was like, oh boy. And then I watched him be really upset at ghouls and goblins for like seven hours straight. <laughs> <laughs> How long were the episodes? Were they all just like, I mean, not like... They they're obviously... all an hour, I think. They well, vary. The yeah, they're usually an hour, but then there's the specials. And, you know, they mix up all the stuff like him visiting arcades and messing with small children in general just like kind of being like oh yeah no i'm good at this and then just like knocking them off arcade machines and be like get out of the way punk it's my turn laughing <laughs> at old ladies playing metal slug yeah and then being like i'm sorry here's a bunch of gold doubloons go buy some tootsie rolls or something <laughs> and they're like yay and he's like hey, 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 hey. that kid sucked <laughs> <laughs> oh arena he Maybe seems yes sometime he seems <laughs> he seems really chill <laughs> I mean, well, uh, to be fair, he is one of the most popular comedians in Japan. Mm -hmm. I so, see. I, I imagine you, you'd be pretty happy about that. Yeah, and I think you would have to maintain some pretty strong chill uh, to make that watchable. Basically, he's, you know, the opposite of a YouTube Let's Player. He's just really calm, and he actually does get worked up, but then he just takes a break and puts on a little, like, compressed hot cold like pad or whatever. On yeah, side. I've <laughs> yeah. seen that. And eat some snacks. That's actually my favorite part is he walks in and just like dumps out like a table of Twizzlers. He's just like, all right, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I like the one they did for the uh, the American special where they gave him a bunch of, of American snacks and stuff. And he saved the can of Coke until last and it was all warm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it looks like you're actually getting points just for not dying. Yeah, you get points for traveling on this, like every, I don't know what it is, but you get 100 points for traveling. Mm -hmm. What would Areno say right now? Just like... Probably Abunai. Abunai! Wait, isn't that dangerous? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, it's it, it basically just means like, oh shit, oh crap, look out, <laughs> etc. Hey! What the fuck is with me with this? It's, it's like... <laughs> There's like a weird bounce to it in a way, or something. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, think... One guy said to watch your shadow, and that it guides you better. I think it's that it, it changes the rhythm. It slowly starts to speed up. So hey. if you keep using the same yeah. rhythm over mm -hmm. and over, you'll just keep running into the same wall. Oh. So apparently, <laughs> apparently, Arena was actually having fun with this section. Really? He actually enjoyed it. This is called cheating. <laughs> <laughs> ah, nah, it didn't work. I think that's it. Um, yeah, this game over. Long game over. God damn. What should I do? Should I do it again, or should we just go to a different game or something? You think you can do it? No. <laughs> Good right. enough for me. I will accept that. <laughs> I mean, you, all right, chat. What do you think? You bored, or or you want to? Do you want to try it again? They're calling for Beatus's head. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> hey. See, in 30 seconds, we'll start to get some responses. Yeah. New game. And you just got the game over in the stream. New game. Beta says we're through. Shmups. <laughs> so you can't <laughs> <keep> properly. <laughs>
play Tyrion. Play Tyrion. Game. Yeah. Can I, pretty fun. can I say something in my defense, though? Yeah. I got all the way there without dying or anything. Like, I did pretty well, and then it's like, slow beef, you're awful at this. Like, all right, <laughs> come on, really? Like, at this point, we're just picking. All right, whatever. You, you don't get any slack. <laughs> no, it's, I mean, it's fine, but whatever. It's crazy. Um, hanging out in the park. So it looks like... Just, I hear someone talking shit about Battletoads. <laughs> it's on the computer. Motherfucker, I knew it. What it seems like... Tingling. Andy, what do you mix, say? It seems like a mix of Keep Playing and Switch with the slight majority of meeting Switch. Slight majority so of Switch? I'm going to toss one more out for Switch. Tip All the right. vote. Someone mm -hmm. else goes for Tyrion. I'm going to vote for Switch. And yeah. uh, someone's suggesting... Either Actraiser or Actraiser 2. Both of those are pretty okay. This is the shooting gallery, though. Yeah, it is the shooting gallery. <laughs> so, we got Cur we got Curse of the Necromancer. We got Super Wagon Adventure, which I played on a previous stream, but I do love. Uh, Crimson Clover or... Um, Curse of the Necromancer. What is Necro Dancer, sorry. Oh, wait, Crypt of the Necro Dancer? Yeah. Yeah, it's a oh, rhythm man. roguelike. Yeah, I know that game. Is that a, is that a shoot 'em up or is that just... No, uh, no, it's not. It's, um, it's like a tile based rogue like rhythm type game it's weird it's really unique but it's a lot of fun um probably not the i don't know you could try it and stream it it's, it's a fun game but i'd recommend putting it in a music library and stuff and maybe messing with it a little bit first but it is uh, really good all right well we could we could always do super wagon adventure and see who holy shit that game is amazing i love that game yeah that game is so good <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah, I'm putting a vote for Super Amazing Wagon Adventure. All right, the game is hilarious. Let's do let's do Super Ways Amazing uh, yeah Super Amazing Wagon Adventure. We'll be right back. Mm -hmm. Get rid of this awful game. 